how are you? I have a pickup order for Lacey. Lacey? Do you need any napkins or utensils? Yeah, napkin. No, no utensils, but napkins. vegetarian if you those don't know what that is it's a vegan restaurant in phoenix and their food is sorry their food is bomb.com and so i'm gonna show you what it looks like little note We just got done at the store at home. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a furniture store. Took my time walking through there and I picked up some unique items and I normally wouldn't. I just wanted to kind of window shop, but I did get some good deals. So I did grab some stuff and then when we get back to the house, I'll show you what I got. Um, but right now I'm like thinking I want some wholesome tacos. When I say wholesome, of course they're vegan, but I'm thinking like mm -hmm. use what I have at home and turn it into healthy tacos. So that's not what I'm gonna try to do because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten since like two hours ago. Okay, so we just got back home and I wanna show you guys what we got from that home store. Maybe that looks better. Yeah, mama. So I wanted a new kitchen mat because the other one needs to go. So I got this beige colored. It's not foam, but it's like not flat and not just the cloth part. I don't know what you would call it. They call it the natural stripe kitchen mat power loomed, whatever that means. Power loomed, easy to clean. Just what we need. And then when I was going to the checkout, I was like, oh, these are kind of cool. And it was like the last box. And I've wanted some of these before, but I was like, I don't need them. You know what I mean? And I don't need them. But I'm like, you know what? For $9, can't beat it. There's six of them, and they're brown, rattan, rattan, rattan. That's what they look like, and they're freaking cute. I'm like, these would be cute in the bedroom or on the porch or in the living room. I don't know where I'll put them, but I thought they were cute. They go with the theme that I have going on here. The all natural. And this is the most exciting part. I have some potter plants I got that were on sale. They were like half off. Ew. You chewing on your toy? Probably don't taste good. Girl. Girly. It probably don't taste good, mama. I don't know. I feel like this is all twisted. I guess. Who knows? Anyway. They have these like faux leather straps. And it looks bigger on the camera. But it's definitely not that big. I feel like it'll fit a succulent. Which, I'm going to go get more succulents. But, it's cute. You look at it. Very pretty. Touch that bit. You can't grab the wrap. You can't grab the wrap. No, this one's pretty big. So, I think it's, I think it was worth it. It was like $7.99, so half off of that. 
and it's like a little floral pot it's like flowering and you sit stuff in i don't think i'm gonna plant some directly in it i'm gonna put the actual whatever pot or plant that i get the black liner will go inside of here hopefully it doesn't show i think this is like a four inch size yeah four inch size put like a little succulent in here maybe something that's like smaller and not hey get off my mat boy that ain't for you. Off the mat. Thought that was cute. And then there's one more. And I walked past this one like twice. Because I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I love this color though. And this was half off too and she almost was like no it's full price and i was like that's why i walked past it but then i saw it in an editing area and it said half off she's like oh, okay and she fixed it for me i was like you know what today's a good day it's always a good day but it's even a better day now anyway it's like this burnt orange the camera does not do it justice honestly but anyway it's burnt orange it is a little bigger than the other one. Hey, leave her toy alone, fool. Jeez. And it has a little saucer at the bottom, so that's kind of cool. You can, like, bottom feed your plants if you want. And, yeah, I love the colors. I feel like all these colors go together, even though the yellow one stands out. But they're cute. And that's all I got. Honestly... I wasn't even trying to get a bunch of stuff. I just wanted a window shop and I was like, I saw online that they had sales on their pot. So I took it. And I was like, oh, let's go check them out. You know what I mean? Like two really healthy ones. And it was the Pothos and the English <coughs> Ivy. And I live in Arizona and it's dry as fuck. And so the Pothos was doing really well as long as I watered it regularly. And then the English Ivy. It's doing good too until it started getting too dry and i was like trying to increase the humidity i added a humidifier in my room i put pebbles near it i misted it um, and it literally died on me i was like oh my god it was on its last leg and i thought i could save it <laughs> i thought i could save it and i definitely did not save it i was upset and then the pothos was doing well and then it just stopped too so i'm like what the fuck and i do believe that i got those both plants from lowe's and i don't know if that's why because all these plants i'm getting now are from home depot and every single one has been thriving so i'm excited that's why i usually don't even go to lowe's anymore i just go straight to fucking home depot but my calathea I got that baby at Lowe's and it's doing well. And I honestly. Ah, shoot! Shoot! <laughs> shoot! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I got it at Lowe's and it, it's doing well. And I didn't think it would because it's so fucking dry here. And if it's dry outside, it's more than likely dry on the inside. And I don't use the humidifier, but I do have it in the kitchen. And I do the dishes a lot. And I run the dishwasher at least once or twice a week. So I think maybe that helps it. So because of that, I went and got another Calathea. And this one was from Home Depot. And that one is a little different, the, the way it looks. And it's thriving too. It's above my computer. So listen, as long as the plants are thriving... I'm doing what I'm doing, I think. I think it's working. I'm not going to question it because no need to. If it's working, it's working. Woo! <laughs> She's over there excited. Me throwing it in the air. Is he crazy? Whoa! Whoa! What's going on?
important to be able to take time for yourself and part of that time for me is being able to do what I'm doing right now. I chose to do muscle rolling this day and just like stretch my body out because I swear as a breastfeeding mom it's almost impossible to do that because you know you're constantly breastfeeding and when you're not breastfeeding you're trying to get everything else done that you need to get done so yeah like I said this is like a way for me to de-stress relax and open up my body and you know just stretch it out like feel good about it because I don't know I feel like ever since I've had a kid my, I don't stretch as much I do not work out anymore um, the most working out I do is like walking and going to the store so this felt really good so I try to do this like almost once or twice a week I probably should try to do it every day but like I said you know you gotta find the time and right in this clip is the right time and then <laughs> as you can see my cat wants to be a part of it too so it's like
Goose, goose. What you doing, Tootsie? She ain't going to sleep, so this is what we doing. This is a den. Ready? Do you see the avocado? Do you see the avocado? Do you see the avocado? Yeah. Do you see the avocado? You crazy, mama. Avocado! <laughs> you got my hair all crazy, girl. What's going on with him? What happened to Mr. Avocado? What is this on his nose? Let's see here. Look. Look, look, look. My shining moon, my shooting star, you got in my bed. There's no one who's more beautiful than you. She is a crazy. She is not sleeping. And it, yeah, it does not surprise me, honestly. Because she's not really, she's not really a good sleeper. Has not been a good sleeper since she's been a baby, like a newborn, so. But today, for some reason, she's not taking her naps. She literally took a 40-minute nap and then a 15-minute nap all day. That's not okay. <laughs> that is not okay. And she's like this. Yeah, all the energy. <clears throat> all the energy. <laughs> all the energy you got. Tell them. Yeah. But she's also trying to roll over, so I think that might be why. And of course, she's hitting her eight months, so there's a sleep regression there. You crazy. You crazy. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> this is like your favorite thing to do. And then another thing she likes to do is hold things in the air and shake them. <laughs> You're crazy. Look at you, an avocado. Man, she's strong. She can handle anything. Look at her throw it around. Girl, what is you doing? What? What is you doing? <laughs> Goofy child. Hey, Tootsie! She don't care about what I'm saying. Alright. <laughs> I really hope that you sleep tonight, though, because honestly, dude, I'm going to need some rest before I go to work. <laughs>